friends, this is Dr. Aarti Upadhyay, Assistant Professor, Biani Group of Colleges. Today, we are going to discuss the monopoly market structure. So, monopoly market is a market condition there is where there is only one seller and this seller produces the product that is homogeneous product. This product has no close substitute means there is no substitute available for that particular commodity which the monopoly monopolist produce the product. Okay. Uh, in monopoly market situation, there is no free entry or exit of the firms, other firms means the, that the monopoly, the monopoly firm is the only producer. Now, there are certain assumptions into the monopoly market or we can say these are the condition for a monopoly market. The first and foremost condition is there is only one seller, means one seller, no other sellers. Second, there are no close substitute, means this is the only producer and the product which he produces he has no close substitutes. We can take the example of railway as the railway have no substitutes. If we want to go for a large distance, we have to opt the option of railway. Okay. The next is the aim of the monopoly firm is to maximize his profit because the monopoly is a profit earning firm. It does not concern with the social welfare or any, any kind of welfare. So, the aim of that monopoly firm is to pro maximize his profit by the minimum, by the minimizing of his cost. The next, there are so many buyers for the monopoly products, monopoly markets product, but that particular buyers or any buyer cannot affect the price of that particular product or price of monopoly's product. The next is no threat of entry and exit of entry of the firm means no other firm can easily enter into the monopoly market because monopoly can hold the whole market because he is the only supplier of that particular market. So, he has the grip over the price and obviously on the quantity or supply of that product. Now, we will go for the demand curve shape of that monopoly market. As we can see that if the monopoly is the price maker firm means he has the hold on the price of that particular commodity but uh, you can say that um, you can ask it whether he can uh, uh, determine the price and quantity both no he can't determine the price and quantity both at the same time either he can decide price or he can go for his quantity and the shape of demand curve is downward sloping as we can say it is downward sloping demand curve. Now why the shape is downward sloping because if a monopoly firm wants to maximize his quantity or he wants to sell his quantity more then he has to decrease his price level so that the demand curve is downward sloping curve and no one buyer no one single buyer can't change its can't influence its quantity or its price. Now, we will go for the equilibrium conditions of a monopoly firm. The equilibrium condition of monopoly firm is there should be equilibrium into the marginal cost and marginal revenue or we can say there is MC should equals to MR and MC should cuts to MR from below. Thank you, thank you, thank you. For further discussion, for further details, you should go for www.gurukpu.com.